In this topic, you will learn how to use the buyer plan and generate purchase orders. Also, how to print purchase orders from the buyer plan as well. Now, the buyer plan function is used to record purchase orders placed for various suppliers and various receipt sites as long as they are related to the same company. Now, when products are assigned to a specific buyer, the buyer can only process products he or she is responsible for. Now, there are several ways to process purchase orders by the buyer plan, including manual direct item entry. By purchase requests, if you take into account requirements initiated within the system, or procurement suggestions generated by the MRP calculation or the reorder calculation functions. Now, the buyer plan requires common data setup, including suppliers, price lists, buyers, and purchase products. Let us go ahead and show how to use the buyer plan. To do that, you go to purchasing, the purchasing module, the orders block, and the buyer plan function. We select the entry transaction with the data entry screen more than likely it has been customized to allow the fields that you would like available. To begin, you click New, create a new entry. To start off with in the selection area, you enter the PL site or the receiving site, the order date, the order that you want to purchase orders. The buyer defaults from the user that's logged in, but you can change it to a different buyer. You also can decide on whether you want to print the order. So let's click select print. And the crystal report that you would like to use, we'll go ahead and select a crystal report we would like to use, which is the one that has a footer for purchase order notes. The destination, we would like this to go to a printer. So let's select the selection here that allows it to go to the printer. You can see the printer server and printer details there will print out at the printer. You can enter an external or internal reference, which is a free form field there. We can select a supplier for a product, but we would like it to the system to suggest a supplier. So to do that, we go down to the product line. Here you can enter the product ID or you can enter a description. And if there's a description that's like this, it will actually pull up the product, as you can see here. Description, the receiving site defaults from the PO site. The address as well. The local reference there, you, which you can use as, an, again, a freeform field. You can enter other details. The unit of measure comes from the product record itself, You can though you can change that. The amount ordered always defaults to one, though you can enter a different unit or a different order quantity. We'll go ahead and enter a quantity of 12. Next is the project. If there's a project associated with it, you can select the project as well. It's a supplier, as you can see. Let the system suggest a supplier according to the product purchased. And then you expect the delivery date. This date is actually generated or calculated based on the lead time, the currency, the gross price defaults from the product record. However, you can modify it as long as you're authorized to do so. Now, if we go to the second line, what it does is validates the first line. Another way that you can actually create or generate product is through a requirement suggestion by hitting the action icon here and selecting requirement selection. Now, if any PO suggestion or purchase request exists, a window requirements to consider pops up. The screen provides basically a list of existing suggestions on a selected product to take into account or not in the current purchase order creation. To do that, the first thing we select is we select the date that we would like. We tab through that to get the end date. And then we click on the product field and it will tell us if there are any requirements to consider. And as you can see, there are no requirements to consider. If there were, it would populate with the products associated with any requirements to consider. So now we're going to go ahead and close out of here. The next thing we do is we create. What the creation does, it generates orders and also prints the orders to the printer, as you can see, that we've actually set up here. We also get a log that gives us all the details, including the supplier, what was ordered, and the order number. Now, we're not seeing exactly what's been printed out the printer. However, we can actually see the order itself just by going to the orders block and orders and then select the data entry screen and then viewing the order that was generated here. You can see the supplier, 
the order number, the site, and then on the line we can see the product that was ordered. Now you basically have learned the process to create a buyer plan and print a purchase order and we've actually been able to view the order as well.